Welcome. In this module, I'll look at how users and administrators can manage job flows through the Platform Application Center. To be able to use job flows, Platform Process Manager must be running on the cluster. I won't try and cover all the capabilities of Platform Process Manager here. Rather, I'll just show how job flows can become accessible through the portal. Just as I can monitor and manage jobs, both administrators and authorized users can do the same with job flows. I'm showing job flows active on the cluster here. I'll click on the first job flow to see its structure. Application Center lays out job flows graphically, just as they're defined using the flow editor in Platform Process Manager. Parts of the flow that are complete are shown in blue. In this case, downstream parts of the flow are waiting for an input file and for a time-based condition to be met before continuing. Flows can be as complex as necessary to automate a process. Flows can include other flows, or they can fan out and process many elements in parallel. Exception handling can be built directly into workflows to ensure their reliability. I'll click Job View to see a more job-oriented view of the workflow. In this view, I see the individual workflow elements, their type, and their status. The Application Center tracks jobs, subflows, flow arrays, and array elements all through the same interface. This flow involves 21 discrete sub-elements spread across three screens. I'll show how complicated workflows can be simplified for our end users to the point that they don't even need to know that these flows exist. Let's look at job flows defined by user. In the top half of the screen, I see the available flows with their status and owner. Just like the application templates we looked at earlier, job flows can be published. In the lower portion of the screen, I see details about instances of each flow, including things like versions, triggering events, and exception handling. We don't have time to look at all these in depth. For this demonstration, I'll focus on a simple job flow defined by the LSF administrator. I have a simple three-stage flow called MyFlow1. I'll click on it to see it laid out graphically. This flow will just run three jobs in sequence where the next job depends on the results of the previous job. I'll go ahead and trigger this flow. Running flows again. My flow is running. Individual steps in the job flow need to wait for compute resources to become available, just like any other job on the cluster. Let's click on the flow name and monitor the flow's execution. The first stage in the workflow is already running as evidenced by the green box around the workflow step. I'll look at the jobs view. Our flow is given a flow ID of 41 and is comprised of three jobs. I can click on the LSF job ID to get details about any stage in the flow. I'll just keep monitoring the flow. And I'll fast forward a little bit in time. After a minute or so, both the first and second stages are complete. I'm just waiting for the last job to be scheduled. And before long, all the steps are complete. For sites that need to automate these kinds of complicated multi-step tasks, Platform Process Manager, together with the Platform Application Center, make job flows both easy to manage and easy to use. Thank you for your attention.